What up everyone? Today we're coming back at you with another Adam Sandler film. This is Mr. Deeds. It's a movie I've seen a long, long time ago. I enjoyed it, but I don't remember too much about it. Casey though, just like with many things in life, hasn't seen it. <laughs> Many things in life, many movies yeah. in life, on this channel especially. Yeah, I have not seen this movie. As we've been kind of going down this Adam Sandler journey on our channel here, a lot of you have been commenting about this movie. I don't know anything about it though. Anthony hasn't told me anything really either. So I'm excited. It's kind of fun to go into a movie sometimes not knowing anything about it. All right, y'all. So if y'all want to see the full length reaction to this film where you could sync up a copy of Your Mr. Deeds with us and watch it from beginning to end, go ahead and check out our Patreon. The link for that is down below. yards from the top of Mount Everest. We must abandon our ascent and proceed down the mountain immediately. Go there. See you at the staff meeting on Monday. You seem like you're taking a risk here. <laughs> Is he gonna die? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. What? Once again, the sad footage we've been watching all day. A beloved visionary who turned a single radio station into a global media empire. <laughs> Everybody dies, but not everybody lives. Sources indicate that Blake, who was single and had no children, did not leave a will. So who inherits Blake's 49% stake in the company's stock? Oh! I don't know why I said oh, because I still don't fully know what that means. I'm assuming maybe Adam Sandler somehow will get the will? We'll discuss that with people close to Preston Blake, including his longtime barber, on tomorrow's Inside Access. Could he be potentially related to him? Freak and barber. That's the best you could get me, huh? People tell everything to their barbers, Mac. Is that what Nona writes? Yeah. She, I was like having so much trouble recognizing. I was like, that looks like her, but it doesn't. We find this heir yet. We should be getting that information via fax any minute now. He's gonna be the heir. Some genetic lottery winner now controls the fate of this company. Is it just like the closest relation? If I lose control of this company, it'll be catastrophic. Oh, and he doesn't want to lose. Okay, I'm getting the drama. Deeds. Oh my God, it's all green. Beautiful. Oh, I love that. It's so pretty. Can you imagine having this little meadow? I would frolic. Deeds Pizza. Oh, it's popping. You can't live in a pizzeria. He lives upstairs. He owns it. He's doing well for himself. Oh, well, he'll be back before lunch is out. Today's card day. He just writes greeting cards. Every Monday, he tries out a few, and then he chooses Dang. one and sends it to one of the big card companies. He seems like a great person. Chuck Cedar, CEO, Cecil Anderson, General Consul, Lake Media. Hey, handshakes are for strangers. We hug around here, buddy. Do they just want him to, like, sell it to them? Sounded so sick on the phone. You're good. Do that sick voice again. Geez, I can't come to work today. I think I got trapped. <laughs> we just coughed all over that plate. That's unbelievable. You could be a radio actor or something. Oh, he's just like so nice. Hey, Dave, read a card already. I gotta get back on duty. The whole town loves him. When Mr. Blake died, he left an enormous fortune. Forty billion dollars. He left it all to you, Deeds. Meanwhile, to his next of kin. Not you specifically. <laughs> What are you talking about? You gotta get back on duty. You're not a cop. Yeah, you're right. What? I got this down the costume shop, but I can't hurt to pretend. Isn't that illegal? It <laughs> is illegal. <laughs> well, looks like you won't have to be delivering pizzas anymore. Now you're a very rich man. What's that got to do with delivering pizzas? Aw, staying humble. Found out I have an uncle. He gave me $40 billion. Well, that's nice. Don't you go and spend it all on some fancy record player. <laughs> Grandmas. You were Mr. Blake's closest living relative. Really? He had nobody else? Nope. It's actually kind of sad to think about. Hey, well, Deeds, just going to the pharmacy. Oh, well, let me get you there a little quicker. Oh, he's like the nicest person. Don't let this money corrupt you. We need you to come back to New York with us just for a few days. We're drawing up some papers that you'll need to sign. I feel like he needs a financial advisor, a lawyer or something. Don't let them talk you into stuff. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Hey. Steve Bush. <laughs> you do that every, every time he pops up in an Adam movie. Sandler movie. Bushkibi. <laughs> French fries and Oreos. You know me all too well, Deeds. That's such a strange jail. It's like facing the street. I've never been to New York before. I suppose I could check out the sights. This looks like such a fun little town. <laughs> Look at them. Wow. In an hour, they got this together? Don't even leave. Just come back. Tomorrow's kids eat for three days, so don't forget to clean the high chairs, all right? I'll take care of everything. You go. You have a good time. Yeah, I feel like he's going to have like a uh, rude awakening when he gets to New York. Yeah. I got it. 
My source at Blake. Hey, it's him. <laughs> the guy who no, don't I don't know the name. His name. From Mandrake Falls. That's some little hick ass town in New Hampshire. Bitch. I'm not frosty treating you, Cecil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at Wendy's frosty. You ever dip the fry in the Hell frosty? yes. Who hasn't? I have a spare bedroom. We tried that once, remember? I woke up and you were standing over my bed, breathing heavily. I was having an asthma attack. <laughs> You guys football fans? I think the Pats could take the conference this year. The Dolphins are overrated and the Jets are choke artists. It's like you don't want to distract them while they're flying. I wouldn't say that, Mr. Deeds. You own the Jets, Deeds. I do? Oh my god, really? Can you imagine just like... You inherited a football great, team? My great, great, great uncle died and now I'm this. Still very worried about this. Well, it's not your business to be worried. He inherited the money, you didn't. I don't trust them. If I got Preston Blake to trust me with his company, I can get this moron to do the same. Mmm. Cow. What's up, New York? If he sold the shares, though, he'd still be really rich, right? You want to just sell what your great uncle created? I want me to grow just because I'm wicked rich. Well, that's nice, but let's see how you stick to your guns once you've paid a visit to one of our many fine gentlemen's clubs. <laughs> What? I don't know if you want to meet a girl there. My father saved my mother. She was figure skating and fell through the ice. Always thought I'd meet a girl kind of the same way. Falling through the ice. So this is where my uncle lives? Yes, huh? sir. Oh my gosh. Oh, you kind of snuck up on me there. I am very, very sneaky, sir. <laughs> hey, nice to meet you. I'm Deeds. Aww. I'm sir. He's just such a, like, people person. Oh, okay. How did he get up? Jeez, I'm crawl. How'd you get down here so fast? I mean, down. <laughs> That's an echo, sir. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Imagine just having someone just to do the elevator. <laughs> Funny how Adam Sandler dresses like how he does in his movies in real life. You don't want to have to touch my right foot. I got wicked bad frostbite when I was in the scouts. <gasps> the scouts? Like the Boy Scouts? Oh my goodness. The hideousness of that foot will haunt my dreams forever. <laughs> I got no feeling left in it, so you could like jump on it and it wouldn't hurt me. What? Get that fireplace poker right there and just whack my foot. What is the purpose of this? Do I absolutely have to? It's gonna be fun. Oh my gosh. Nothing. Really? Isn't that sick? Go ahead. Oh my gosh, what? Chop that wood. Yeah, that's it. Ah! Ah! You're sick! You're sick! I feel like he's just joking. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You want me going there? But now you have like a wound. Realistically, if we're just like thinking outside of the realm of movie magic, mm -hmm. keeping like a frostbitten foot <laughs> on you, <laughs> yeah. it sounds so ridiculous. I feel like it would have affected your body and you would have died a long time ago. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to see if there's anything I should be doing today. Oh, he wants to work. Damn about no meeting. Peter, I am so hey! sorry. Who are you? I passed for 3,500 yards last season. The quarterback of the New York Jets. Oh, isn't that what he owns? I want more money. Are y'all can just suck my... Oh. <laughs> no, I figured if I played well, I'd renegotiate and get more money. If you didn't play well, could we renegotiate and pay you less? Oh, he's like talking to him. <laughs> Well, we're gonna have to let you go then. You can do anything you want, but I suggest you change your attitude or nobody's gonna wanna work with you. <laughs> Look at that. Well, he said he likes ladies in distress, not men who wear too much cologne. The information that he got. Um. Hidden cameras on, ready to go. Molest me. Oh, whoa. Marty, you molest me. You got it. <laughs> help! Help me, Mom! And of course, he's gonna come help. Don't worry, I'll get him. Oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, and look. you were just a victim of a New York City mugger. He fell in love at first sight. You could tell by the music. Pam Dawson. My name is Deeds. I'm from a little town like that. Winchester to feel <laughs> could have just left it at Winchester. There's no way you're a school nurse. My school nurse was so mean. Every time I would tell her I had a tummy ache, she'd send me back to my class and say, stop whining. Well, she was a bitch. I missed my mother. <laughs> Oh, that was really sad. Would you like to maybe have a New York City dinner with me? He's so nice. He doesn't deserve to be used like this. Brings you to the big city. Actually, I just inherited $40 billion. So, like, be careful who you're telling all oh, this shit. to everywhere. Your hair is very blonde and pretty. I'm of Swedish ancestry. <laughs> <laughs> My grandfather was in ABBA. <laughs> saying a lot. Oh my gosh. All right, all right, I'll give you one. You were the one who made lemonade for me after I'd come back from play. Do you write your poems with a crayon, Deeds? They don't get it. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> so 
have more money than all of them, so. You might seem funny to us. Well, nobody would laugh at you and make you feel stupid because that wouldn't be good manners. Well, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Rude? And if it wasn't for Miss Dawson being here, I'd probably knock your heads in. Ooh. I don't mind. You're <laughs> You're gonna get an assault charge. Why did you just start singing? <laughs> your defense? Are you Jigglypuff? <laughs> I want to raise Mac. Everybody uses him. You don't live here. You just walk in here. It was quite a night for Longfellow deeds. Oh no, they're gonna know my name's Longfellow. <laughs> You're not representing your small town well. Watch out, Johnny! <laughs> what kind of driving is that? What was that? <laughs> like fucking Spider-Man. <laughs> As soon as that moron goes back to Cowboy Falls, you are out of here on your fat Puerto Rican ass. I hail from Spain, sir. Oh my gosh. Ole. <laughs> your great uncle did not let me change his socks for him either. I like feet. D I what? Don't know why. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Deeds, this is Kevin Ward. Oh, look, he's back. I just want to thank you for teaching my boy a lesson. A good kid. He's just got to watch his language in front of the ladies. I'll remind Kevin where he comes from. Whoa. <laughs> You used foul language. <gasps> oh my gosh. Ladies. No, Daddy, no! <laughs> Here in the nurse's office. Any customers? I feel like if you would have just told him you were a journalist and wanted to write a story on him, he probably would have talked to you anyway. I was brought up never to drink alcohol. Not even rum raisin ice cream. I like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh, that's so dangerous. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> My great uncle's personal journal. Journal? Whoa. Should I read it? Family. It's allowed. You inherited everything. <laughs> do amends with your pals. Thank you, Mr. Bean. Thanks for the bike. Well, what are you going to do with your $20,000? Dang. Quit school. I feel like you shouldn't give little kids $20,000. What was your house like? Blue shutters and a, and a big red door and, and a tire swing. For the time, I, I fell out of old Boo Radley's apple tree. Boo Radley? This is um, to kill a mockingbird. <laughs> <laughs> he scooped me up and he ran me all the way to Dr. Pepper's. <laughs> Glad that guy was around. You couldn't think of any other doctor's <laughs> name than a Dr. Pepper. You know, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a news reporter. And now you're a dirty journalist. Jeez, I'm cold. Fire. Fire? We should help. Imagine if everybody had that energy. Fire truck passes by. <laughs> I'm gonna help. Longfellow Deeds, Mandrake Falls Volunteer Fire Chief. Volunteer Fire Chief? How are you a volunteer chief? I'm gonna get ya! Where are you, baby? Something Everything's gonna be all right. Okay, but I'm not leaving without me kitty. Oh, cats? <sighs> oh, look, she's filming again. Fire excites me. <laughs> <laughs> we go. We got like a billion more, so let's do it. Rob Schneider? Holy shit, it's a cat. <laughs> do this again. Oh, oh I'm scared. Got you. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. Teens. Oh. I'm okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Longfellow Deeds is at it again. His latest victim, Coretta Keeling, whose only crime was loving her cats too much. Now let's see what the fake news will do. Oh my gosh, why are you twisting this? I'm gonna get you. My way. The selective editing. Oh. Cat killer. What? A cat killer? He turned his sights on Miss Keeling herself. Woo. While the rest of us obey the law, rich playboys like himself get to laugh at it. <laughs> I was thinking of going down to that inside access place and giving Mac McGrath the beating of a lifetime. He wants to beat everybody up all the time, though, so I don't know where that came from. You're better than that, Deedsy. So hang in there. This is like a Hallmark movie, but make it Adam Sandler. Tell me more about this girl. Deedsy, you sick-ass mofo. <laughs> You gotta tap that before she starts boning other guys, kid. Oh my gosh! He thinks it's you! He thinks it's you! <laughs> you excited about this trip? He's going to the town! Winchester Tinfieldville, Iowa. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it was an actual town? Hey, 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 hey! Oh, oh my gosh! Winchester Tinfieldvillians! Recognize this little girl? Oh. You related to Bill Dawson? I think I remember you. 
You used to have a kind of hump on your back. Look, Martha, it's Quasimodo all grown up. <laughs> How wonderful. I thought you died. <laughs> You're a nurse. What should I do about this? Whoa, that does not look good. <clears throat> Looks like Play-Doh. Hi, Mary. Good morning. Is he gonna find like the house with the red door? Yes. Blue shutters, red door. <laughs> Hey, how you guys doing? You know who she is? She actually used to live in this house when she was a little girl. Don't answer the door to strangers, kids. Wow. Don't let people in your house, kids. Oh, and this was my brother's room. He was Harry Potter. My daddy built this house with his bare hands six years ago. Well, your daddy is a liar. <laughs> what the heck? Oh no, but you're supposed to be a nurse. He's choking. We should go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! <laughs> There's a poem inside for you. Finally time for this poor schlub to know how it feels to fall in love. Love already. Y'all just met. Have been working. Whoa! Maybe you should like tell him the truth. You're not who you say you are. I was this bitch. Atticus. Atticus bitch? <laughs> All your references are from Just Kill a Mockingbird. Oh, I'm gonna walk home. Oh, you can feel really bad about it. You're not doing anything about it. <laughs> I love New York! Nobody cares! Nobody cares! <laughs> I'm in love with him, and I'm gonna see him tonight, and I'm telling him everything. Doesn't seem like it's gonna be that simple. Wow. Right. Chicken Parmesan. Terrific, thank you. Aw, oh, Chicken Parm. That's why I got this for you. Okay, could you lean forward? What? Already? This is all happening so fast, it seems. I can't stop thinking about you. Please, let me touch your feet. <laughs> <laughs> but what happens when a reporter becomes part of what she's reporting? Uh-oh. That's Longfellow Deeds with Pam Dawson. Oh, no. Doesn't Pam Dawson bear a striking resemblance to Babe Bennett, a producer here at Inside Access? Oh, his heart's going to be broken. I came here to... Try to explain. Oh, it's so sad. He didn't deserve this. The good news is the paper's ready, so once you sign them, we'll get our stock and you'll get your forty billion dollars. I don't want that money. Just give it to a charity. How? Are you going? He never even cared about the money or anything, you know. Yeah. Right day, okay. Oh no, not your cards. Oh my gosh, you're gonna be like shocked. <laughs> <laughs> She's here. I mean, he's probably gonna forgive you by the end of the movie, and y'all are gonna get married. Wham Bam Dawson, AKA Little Miss Slut Slut. <laughs> I have to find him, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. There's a lot I can do to stop you. He's rolling up her sleeves. I'm sorry. All I heard was blah, blah, blah. I'm a dirty tramp. <laughs> <laughs> you get by me, I'll tell you where he is. He's ready to defend his honor. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> are you kicking? I ain't got no balls, dummy. <laughs> Put me down. You got it. <laughs> oh my gosh, you got the pizza cutter. I'm gonna cut you in the eight slices of bitteroni. <laughs> Time heals all things. I wasn't talking to you, Deeds. I was talking to that squirrel over there. Oh. Just waited for him to come back to the pizza place. <laughs> she fell in ice! Isn't that how his parents met? <laughs> now she's actually in distress. For real this time. Where do you got the camera hidden? In the woods? Oh no, you lost his trust. I'm so sorry. I really. What? You're not gonna leave her there. That's crazy. Go down! Go down! Here comes the black boy! <laughs> <laughs> I know it's gross, but grab it! <laughs> it can handle anything! Okay. Your foot is disgusting. <laughs> that foot saved your life. You didn't really fall out of an apple tree, did you? No, I really love you. Don't even know who you are. Dang, he really protected himself there. Y'all could start from scratch, you know? 
that a GNT? I am so sorry. Your GNTs mean nothing! Blake Media will be stripped down and sold off piece by piece. Oh my gosh. Longfellow Deeds has apparently given up his voting rights and left the city. Well, that's sad. Sources indicate that virtually all of Blake's 50,000 employees are likely to lose their job. Gosh, 50,000. Bylaws require me to open the floor to shareholders for statements either for or against this buyout plan. Mantling <gasps> this company would be an <gasps> insult. Oh! It is an unspeakable outrage and it cannot be allowed to happen. <laughs> Excuse me. I got a statement. He's here, he's here! Save the company! Just remember, I now control 49% of this company, so you're gonna have to persuade just about everyone else to start hating money. They'll be able to do it. He's a people person. Wanna be a fireman? No, I did not. Truth be told, I wanted to be a veterinarian. And what do you do now? I want to chain a slaughterhouse. Oh my gosh! <laughs> In the back, come on. I wanted to be a magician. And what do you do now? I operate a graphic website. <laughs> that makes people happy also, I guess, but kind of in a grosser way. <laughs> Who else? I wanted to be a senator. International house pancake. <laughs> I wanted to be a man. A man? <laughs> I bet if we ran into the sixth grade versions of ourselves right now, they would kick our asses all over the place. I would have tied myself naked to a chair and burned myself with lit cigarettes. <laughs> Please, don't break up my uncle's company. I always wanted to do that. I feel like a lot of rich people would be like, I don't care. Yeah! Shine the line. My 300 million votes plus the 5 million votes I control as proxy for the foreign investors. Should have never signed them over. I vote I. Blake Media is no more. Not so fast, Chuck. Whoa! When Deeds gave away his fortune, he gave away something that wasn't his. The diary of Preston Blake. Oh! He stole it and read it. Oh my god! And I must follow it now in love. Who? Want me to wipe the leaves on your ficus tree, Preston? Yes. Is the son the butler? There was only one woman working on Preston Blake's floor. Sadly, nine months later, she died giving birth to a son. Oh. To a Miss Consuela Lopez. That is my mother. Oh my goodness! And the rightful heir to $40 billion. That is my money? And you were just working at his butler? <laughs> That is my money! That is my money! Your own dad this whole time never claimed you as his own? That is my money! Don't be misled, these are all lies. Mr. Cedar, <laughs> you are fired. Did you get your magic powers from him too? You, you. <laughs> oh, you, sir, you are definitely fired. He's like, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, you're cool. And fuck you, I'm out. I'd like to stay. I think I can really do some good. Not fired. He's the cool one. Yeah. <laughs> but tomorrow morning, you let me change your socks. He's gonna do sexual harassment. <laughs> How can I thank you? All I want is your friendship, Emilio. How about a billion dollars? All right. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> if you insist. The letter from Hallmark. They're actually gonna buy <gasps> one of my cards. Wow. The one I wrote for you, do you remember it? Oh. Mouth is dry. Hands are shaking. My heart is yours. <laughs> Or the Taken. The guy on the slaughterhouse. Dancing around like the Keebler elves. The feet! Can you believe Deed bought us all these? What? <laughs> the whole town? Damn, these things are fast. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. I'm okay! So that was totally not what I was expecting at all. Like, I had no idea that the plot line was gonna be him inheriting a bunch of money. And I feel like this character was kind of a different type of character that Adam Sandler usually plays. Like, usually he's not, like, the... I mean, I'm sure there are definitely some where he's, like, the, the good guy. But here he was, like, such a good guy. Usually yeah. he kind of has, like, a a different kind of character. Well, just from my recollection of a lot of Adam Sandler films, uh, you know, there's usually a problem, you know, that he yeah. encounters, whether like Happy Gilmore, he had a little bit of an anger issue, mm. but I mean, he still had a good heart. He was trying to help mm. out his grandma at the end of the day. Um, you know, in Wedding Singer, he definitely went through it, but obviously he was right. like broken up with. And just, there's a lot of things you can think of. Honestly, in this movie, he was kind of like a good guy from the beginning. He yeah. didn't care about the money. He didn't mm -hmm. care about the fame. 
Uh, he obviously cared about uh, Babe. Yeah. I, I don't. I think her name was Pam. The fake name yeah, was Pam. Yeah, but her real name was Babe. Winona Ryder. <laughs> so yeah, he cared about her. But yeah, it's it's different in that regard. Whereas it's interesting because he didn't necessarily grow in this movie. It was yeah. just kind of like the surroundings that he had around him, I guess. That's a weird way to put it. But uh, in general, he stayed the same despite the money. He didn't care about the money. Right, which I guess that was like a kind of a different way to look at it. Like he stayed humble and then he ended up going back to his small town where he was ultimately happy before he ever had the money. Yeah. And like it almost seemed like the money and the fame made his life way worse. And he was just content to be where he was. If you look at like Adam Sandler movies, they usually always have a deeper message and I feel like, you know, as a kid, I never really thought about them. If you think about them individually, I feel like you can like kind of analyze each particular one. But I guess just re-watching them for me and Casey pointing out a lot of stuff that she picks up on throughout these movies, I was like, damn, there are mm -hmm. actually very positive movies throughout. Like, you know, there's usually a message you have to learn something from. Mm -hmm. And if you... If you dig deep enough, obviously it's a comedy at surface level, but there are definitely layers below it. And if you peel them back, it's very positive mm -hmm. at the end. I don't think, besides Click, even though Click still had a positive message, that I never left an Adam Sandler movie feeling negative. <laughs> like it's always like a positive, happy yeah. feeling. I was like, that was a pleasant time. Right. Click wasn't because it was bad, it was because no, it was so No, no, it was just like, yeah. damn, they really went the extra mile with yeah. Click and it they really sentimental, they put you through the ringer. <laughs> but uh, other than that though, like it's still at the end of the day, still had a positive right. message. Yeah. Spoilers for Click, I <laughs> guess. But I do enjoy this movie. I will say it's probably not my favorite out of Adam Sandler's, but it's still a really good installment and it still keeps to that same, we'll call it, a pattern of all of his other movies where he provided that message that you could like read yeah. into and take something from. Yeah, it's like lighthearted feel good with like a deeper meaning throughout. Yeah, this one definitely wasn't probably my favorite that we've seen, but I still enjoyed it. But mm. I think that there's, he has some other ones that I like a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, now I, I think this one kind of, this came out in 2003, so it was, like when he was leaving his 90s era and yeah. getting into his 2000s era films. And there still was a lot of really good movies from Adam Sandler in the 2000s. We've watched several of them here mm -hmm. on the channel. But it's always interesting to think that like, okay, everyone always associates Adam Sandler with Happy Gilmore, Wedding Singer, uh, Billy Madison and Waterboy, which were some of his earlier films. But he had a lot of other good, mm -hmm. really good installments in his repertoire of yeah. film and I think like he has a lot of other good ones and I feel like some of his 2000s films are kind of shortchanged a little mm -hmm. bit and you know randomly I just heard I don't know if this is a, a like an internet meme because I feel like sometimes it's hard to get the lore but I just saw that they're gonna make a Happy Gilmore 2 mm -hmm. is that real leave a comment down below if you've like done the research and found out if that's real because at this point I don't know if it's a meme or if it's actually legitimate. So let us know, is there gonna be a Happy Gilmore 2? Because if there is, that's a very random time for me to have shown Casey Happy yeah. Gilmore for the first time like two months ago. All right, y'all, well thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.